Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Back to the Question. Today I've got a question that needs to be answered from Ray, otherwise known as Hi-Fi Geek. And his question is this. How do I insert silences on a vinyl to CD project? I can insert the silence, but it still plays as one recording. In other words, it plays just like an LP. Just track one, not one, two, three, etc, etc. So this is about Amadeus Pro. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look and see how we get this sorted out in my favourite audio editing application. Here we are in Amadeus Pro and we've recorded our LP and on this occasion we've got four tracks. And what we need to do is we need to put in some markers to be able to get this process started. So what we could do is we could go to Selection and Generate Markers. And first name is going to be called Song 1 and the colour is going to be black. It's not going to be equally spaced and it's going to be at silent portions. So the minimum length of uh, silence, well, let's just change that to 2 because I tried this before and it put too many markers in there. So let's click on OK and see what we get. OK, we've still got too many markers in there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this manually. And this is probably what's going to happen for you because you do get bits of silence within an LP sometimes. So we'll go to clear all markers. Now I know that's one of the places where there needs to be a marker is here, so let's just put a marker in there. And this is another place where a song starts here. Obviously you can listen to these through and actually decide exactly where you want your markers to go, but I kind of know because I can see it from the waveforms. So another marker in there. Now you think we're done, but no we're not. We've actually got to put a marker right at the beginning. So I can go to the beginning like that and put a marker in there. What you need to do now is going to go to these markers click on them and actually put the name of the track in there. So maybe this track is called Puppy Love. And on song two here, it could be Mad in the Jungle. Okay, so let's do this final song. And this final song is called Milk and Honey. Okay, so we've got our four songs in there. So we've got two ways of doing this here. We go to our sound menu, and if we've actually got a CD in there, we can click on Burn to CD. And it's going to consider all markers, it's going to put a gap in two seconds, and it's going to write in the CD text data. So you can put in there the title, the performer, composer, uh, markers is going to give the title. Or you could change that so it's going to give the performer and then the title of the song. And we could click OK. And what you need to happen then is to have a disc in your drive and then you can burn it directly to disc. So that is one way of doing it where you're actually making this into a CD. Now, I don't necessarily want to make a CD because I don't really need CDs. I'd rather have them as tracks that I can put into iTunes. And the first thing you want to do really is to go into this information link up here and put in some artwork. This will help you to find it when you get it into iTunes. And you can just drag and drop a picture in there or you can clear artwork or set artwork. Let's click on set. So if you click on set artwork, then you can just go and choose a picture. And I've chosen this one here with David Wildshirt with Alpha. And click on Open. And in the metadata, you want to put in the title of this here. So let's just change that to put it in something different. The title of that is Milk and Honey. We've got the album called Down and Dirty. The artist is Wizard Gold, 2013. We don't need to put track number in there or genre or anything like that. And we're going to click on OK. So, next thing to do is to go to your sound menu and go to split according to markers and click on that. So, I call it Milk and Honey. The format's going to be MP3. You're going to consider all markers, don't need to change the settings, and we'll click on split. So, that's writing those sound segments out as different files. And the first one's going out there and it's called puppylove.mp3, followed by madinthejungle.mp3 and so on. And at the end of this, we're going to have four files in our folder that we can copy into iTunes. OK, so there we go. We've got this over here now in this folder. We've got the four files in there. So we've all got icons in there, which are the artwork for the album. So let's just go back to the desktop again. We'll grab this milk and honey, drag it over and drop it onto this bit here. So then I can go into iTunes and I can take this whole folder and drag it up here. And it's copied it in. Now you see there it is. Look, down and dirty. And we've got our four songs in there. And it's even got the track numbers in there. Look, one, two, three and four. Starting with Puppy Love, Mad in Jungle, Down and Dirty, followed by Milk and Honey. 
And that's pretty good, isn't it? We've got our album art in there as well. And if we go to one of these here, let's just uh, get info. So you see the name of the track there is Puppy Love and the artist is Wizard Gold and the album is called Down and Dirty. And we've even got the track numbers in there, one of four. And click on artwork, we've got the artwork in there as well. Perfect. Didn't that do a good job of it? So that's all you need to do to get your songs off vinyl onto CD or into separate files that you can add to iTunes. Have some fun with Amadeus Pro. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.